Hello beautiful family, Stephen here, 30th of May in the year 2023 and uh, I believe just before all these people went missing in the world and here I am doing this video for you guys. Um, the, temp the temperature here, hello, the temperature here has dramatically dropped. You saw me yesterday and now I've got this on and, and you know, uh, with the chemtrail in, I mean, all this is just a complete whiteout, a complete whiteout, which, which we're used to here um, be, because of the chemtrails um, pumping at the atmosphere full of this stuff, um, blocking out the sun, blocking out the signs in the stars and stuff like that and altering the atmosphere to to sustain foreign entities during the tribulation and then they're, they're here already uh, anyway enough about that so many of you might not know what i'm talking about so enough about that but um I'm a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the way that leads to salvation and a, a guaranteed place in heaven. Uh, guaranteed. Um, and there's so many people. I'm, I'm yesterday I was preaching, and there's so many people who seem to be completely numb to the word of God and so unbelieving and well uh, I shouldn't be surprised because the Bible does say it will be like this in the last day that some will depart from the faith well that some is a great great multitude of people the majority you know anyway let me just pray dear loving Heavenly Father I just lift this up to you to your throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help and instruction and wisdom and understanding in time of need. Lord God, I come to you right now and I pray you, you will get the glory, you'll be glorified, Lord Jesus Christ, and you'll bless the subscribers. Lord, you'll bless them with power and grace and peace be in their hearts and minds. Lord God, remind them that um, greater is the one that's in them than the one in the world. Remind them that they can do all things through Jesus Christ, um, which strengthens them and remind them also that the things that are impossible with men are possible with God. There's nothing too hard for the living God. So I don't know which way to take you. I think we'll go this way. So yes, I'm a preacher of the way that leads to everlasting life and a place in heaven because there's no other name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved. That's what it says in the book of Acts. And so we all need saving. We all need forgiveness of sin. Because like the Bible says, we have all sinned and we all come short of the glory of God. I'm chief sinner. And the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, that's Romans 3.23 and 6.23. So... So you, we need forgiveness of sin because we've all, we, like it says, we've all sinned. Uh, and, uh, but if any man says he has not sinned, he's making God a liar. So uh, if you humble yourself and you believe the gospel, you will be saved. The gospel, the gospel of Jesus Christ is how that he died on that cross for all our sins to pay the debt in full. His final words were, it is finished. He was buried and on the third day he rose again from the dead. And by believing that, that he did that for you and knowing it's true, knowing it's in your heart, it's true. And calling upon Jesus, you will be saved. So you could say a simple prayer like, I mean, it'd be nice to get down on your knees to say it, really, but just bow before the God of the whole earth and 
and, and say, Dear Lord Jesus Christ, I, I come to you and I believe that you died for me on that cross. I believe you paid my uh, lifetime of sin. Uh, you paid the sin debt in full, Lord, and I thank you for forgiving me of all my sins. I'm now asking you to come into my life, Lord Jesus, or come into my heart. Yeah, and I know that you rose again from the dead. Um, and now I turn to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Um, please baptize me in Holy Ghost, in Holy Spirit, which will be with me forever. Something like that you could say. Uh, there may be better prayers uh, of, of repentance to salvation than that, but uh, that's just an example. Um, somebody put, it was, I think it was Frank, Frank put in the comment section, he, he said, uh, I think he said something like more garden videos. I think, uh, so I think this is what he was referring to, like, um, he put on one of my preaching videos, more garden videos. So I think this is what you mean, Frank. <laughs> Through trees and stuff. It is nice, you know. Uh, it's nice to come down here and, and uh, see all the wildlife. All the trees in fully green and all the blossom and stuff. And this uh, big duck, duck pond and well, ducks, geese, uh, I think there might be other, so other, other types of uh, ducks as well that come in here. Anyway, I hope you are all alright, beautiful family. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Um, I love you all. I love you all so much. And Jesus Christ loves you even more. Um, let me think of some scripture to speak. There we go. It's, it's a different coloured looking duck compared to these mallard ducks. Let me think of some scripture to speak. Well, I'll say, I'll say Psalm 23 because it seems very fitting. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He, first of all, the Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. He makes us to lie down in green pastures and he leads us beside the still waters. He restores our soul. He guides us in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we shall fear no evil, for you are with us, Lord. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us. You prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. You anoint our head with oil. Our cup runneth over. Surely, surely, definitely, most assuredly, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. So, um, let me just think of something else. I feel a real strong urge to pray for all of you guys, so we're going to do it now. I'll just point it this way as I'm doing it, because I know the Lord's going to answer this. So, dear, loving, heavenly Father, I give you glory and praise, and I bless you, King Jesus Christ. We love you, Lord. And I'm bringing all my subs to you. Lord, some are going through attacks. Lord God, I pray you turn these attacks away from your body, Lord, from your people. Because uh, turn, turn the attacks away from them and give them a break from them. Be the strength in their shield. Lord God, if anybody's feeling sorrowful or, or what, I pray you comfort that person I pray you comfort everybody watching with your tender loving forgivenesses kindnesses and mercies let them be upon everybody watching for your glory's sake Lord Jesus Christ may everybody go away feeling better and encouraged by you Holy Ghost um, 
because it's you we worship Lord God uh, so lift up the strength the health the light and the beauty of your countenance upon them all and give them peace in the name of Jesus Christ even so amen right so if you haven't believed that gospel of Jesus Christ you'll be left behind because like I said at the beginning of the video there's going to be a great disappearance of many people very soon and you don't want to be left behind to face what's coming and uh, it's, it's, all, it's all prepped to go the great tribulation it's all ready to go Jesus Christ is coming is imminent any second now and he will descend and take his children home uh, in the rapture which is not the second coming. Jesus Christ doesn't touch down during uh, the rapture, uh, the Hapazzo, when we are caught up to meet him in the uh, uh, air, you know. The two different uh, things, uh, two different uh, appearances of the Lord. So people need to also distinguish between the last trumpet in Revelation, which is blown by an angel, and the last trump, uh, which is the, the Lord's trump, the Lord himself shall descend with shout, with the voice of the archangel, and the trump of God, not of angels. So distinguish between that and, you know, and the one in Revelation, because uh, that trips up a lot of people. Uh, so I don't want you to be tripped up. So I love you all, family. I'm, I'm out of breath, breath already, walking up there. Ooh, I love you all. I love you all so much. Looking forward to being with you any second now, any moment now. There's an eeriness in the atmosphere. I tell you, there is. There's such an eeriness. And, and uh, you can feel this calm before the storm. World War III is about to break out. So if you haven't believed the gospel, please believe it now. Believe it now before it's too late and you witness the, all these people vanish. It's gonna happen very soon. So please believe on Jesus. Doesn't matter what you've done. It doesn't matter what you have done. If you've murdered 20 people, if you've done more heinous things than that, you still can be forgiven and he will accept you with welcome open arms and fill you with his love god is love he loves he loves you, his people right i'm getting off before it's 13 minutes but i love you family very much thank you for all your support